Hi, Doug here. So for the collection, I have this amazing thing. And for all the car guys out there yelling at the screen, they know what this is already. But for the average person, they probably wouldn't know. And even you car guys, I bet you've never seen one that has not been finished being built. It's still, you can see all the brazing and everything in here. It has yet to actually be powder coated and finished. This is in a development stage. So technically, this is still a pre-production unit. So this is called a torque converter. And this is what lives behind your engine before your automatic transmission. It's called a viscous coupler. And it's basically like an automatic clutch that combines the engine to the transmission. Why is it designed like this? Well, imagine two of these. One flipped over, mounted directly on top of it, not touching, but sitting very close together. And then a fluid filling between these, in this case, transmission fluid that fills up the gap. Each one of these little ribs here is a piece of bent metal that is in a cup formation. So think of it kind of like a paddle wheel. So you have these little cups going all the way around. And then the opposite side is the cups going the opposite direction. So when this spins, it takes fluid and tries to push it in this direction. When you have another cup sitting above it, these cups combine with the fluid slamming into it and it makes a coupling between the two. So it's like putting two fans <clears> next to each other and one spins, it tries to make the other one spin because it makes a lower resistance in the fluid as it's trying to move. That is how a torque converter works. Well, why would you want something this complicated in there? Well, they're designed like this to be as efficient as possible for transmitting that force from one clutch to the other. And the reason they're using fluid is because it's a viscous coupling. It's not a direct coupling. You need some flexibility between the engine and the gears. That way when the transmission is making that shift, that slight abrupt stop on the transmission, if you want to stall out the engine or cause timing issues, or our worst case, put a lot of stress on the crankshaft or the pulley, uh, or, the cr or the crank inside. So this allows as a shock absorber. So think of this like a rotary oil filled shock absorber that takes that absorption out of the spikes and smooths it out to the engine. So hence torque converter, which is really cool. And then the ones that lock out have a bunch more advancement features in it. But a basic torque converter is basically two fans side by side that let it run through. And then here's the back side, which most of you automotive folks have seen before, sticking out the back side of a transmission. And again, again, this one's never finished. You can see all the brazing marks where each of these tabs were stamped on a press, stuck down in, this ring was laid on top, and each tab was bent over. And on the back side, they bent over the tab again, and then a brazing rod was used with heat to braze it in there. So think of it kind of like welding, but it uses more of a chemical process than a metal uh, melting metal process to bond everything, which gets everything all bonded in there. So again, this is a really cool gift from a friend of mine. I wish I could say who it was and what it was for, but this is an awesome addition to the collection, and thanks for watching.